welcome to another episode of Melissa's Menu. You guys know how much I love junk food, but tonight we are cooking healthy. To make this show even more exciting, tonight we have a special guest, actually two special guests tonight, who are going to be talking to us about eating healthy, exercising, and making better eating choices for the new year. Welcome Mike and Zach. This is Mike, he's a personal trainer and a wellness coach. What's up everybody, how are you? My name is Mike Duffy Jr. I'm a personal trainer and coach in the South Shore area. I became a personal trainer, the reason why I'm so passionate about the fitness industry is because I was once 250 pounds and I decided I was unhappy with myself. And I realized that I wanted to be happy, I wanted to be healthy, I wanted to be a New Year's resolution and get to the great shape of my life. And I realized you don't get out of life what you want, you get out of life what you are. And from that principle, I decided to practice 80% nutrition, 20% exercise, which is why I'm so excited for you guys tonight because Zach practices those same principles and Melissa is gonna be teaching all of you guys how you can do the same at home. Yeah, wow. same story here, guys. That key principle of 80% nutrition, 20% being physically active has really helped me live a better life. Uh, I was always into extreme sports, uh, BMX biking, snowboarding, uh, wakeboarding, uh, surfing, the whole deal. And in order for me to live my passion, I had to eat healthy so I can continue to be physically active and go out there. And that's what tonight's all about. We're going to have a lot of fun. And we got some really special things for you guys. Actually, why don't you guys tell them what we're making tonight? We're going to have an out-of-the-world chicken avocado salad. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a berry and tea smoothie. Phenomenal. Awesome. I'm so excited about tonight. All right, folks, we are up to our third recipe. Chicken and avocado salad with cilantro lime dressing. Fancy, right guys? Ooh. Love it. All right, so <laughs> we have one pound thinly sliced chicken breast. Over here, our other ingredients are um, field green uh, mixed salad. You can use bib lettuce, iceberg, although, question, is it true that iceberg does not have a lot of nutrients? Uh, the darker the color of the leaf, yep. typically the more nutrients you're gonna find in it. Okay. Stay colorful. Okay. Stay colorful. <laughs> um, avocados, of course, red onion, tomato, talk about that in a minute, our homemade taco seasoning that I made, we'll talk about that later, and then our cilantro, lime vinaigrette super simple dressing all right first we're going to start over here with our chicken um first put this in a bowl and mike what we're using is a pound of chicken breast so if you could expand on um you know the nutrients of chicken mm -hmm. versus i know there's not a lot of uh, red meat well you're not supposed to eat a lot of red meat from what i've heard so if you could expand on that a little bit. No, that's a great question. I'm asking you, how many of you have actually seen the commercial by Chick-fil-A saying, eat more chicken? <laughs> and that's a great commercial because it has a great point. Chicken is excellent source of food for you. The reason being, it's packed with protein. It's loaded with essential vitamins that your body needs to thrive and to survive. So it's low in the fat and high in the protein. You can have this seven days a week. I do. Now here's the thing, mm. you brought up a great point. I love chicken. You yeah. do want to stay away from the steaks, um, having that too much time, because the red meat, that's high in the fat, we want to stay away from that a little bit. But chicken, anytime, anywhere, and that's a great point, anywhere. You can literally bring this anywhere, you can make it anyhow, you can marinate it, you can grill it, you can bake it. There's so many different ways that you can make this creative and fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually put you to work for one sec. Could you wash that? Yeah. We never want to contaminate, as you know, um, any sort of utensils. So my only tongs that I have tonight, so I've got to use those. While he's doing that, I added a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. If you guys have any input on that, I use extra virgin olive oil all the time. And is that okay for me to be using that? That's a good fat, correct? Right. Olives are great. They're great for the skin. Um, we all know about the Mediterranean diet. We use a lot of uh, olive oil in there and, and olives and everything. So mm -hmm. it's, it, it's a moisturizer. It's, it's, it's a lot of health benefits that come with it. Great, great. Um, what I have right here is a homemade taco seasoning. Let me talk quickly about this. What this is, I just put this together, um, some chili powder, granulated garlic and onion powder, paprika, cumin, oregano, coriander, and a little bit of cornstarch and black pepper. 
much healthier, don't you agree, than those packets of the taco seasonings in the supermarket, which are full of sodium. That much I do know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's, it's, it's all salt and a pinch of something else. Right, right, exactly. So I'm just mixing some of the seasoning. This is going to give it a fabulous flavor. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful flavor. A little bit more olive oil. And then we're just going to cook this right in the stove top. I have this on high heat. I want this to make a nice sizzle. If you don't have one of these um, grill pans, any kind of pan is fine. If you're making this in the summer, on the grill is even better. Do you guys do a lot of grilling in the summer? All the time. Do Love you? it. Love it. A little Kenny Chesney on the outdoor porch. <laughs> oh, yeah. some chicken on the grill. That's a nice summer day. Yep. Love Kenny Chesney. And Melissa, I just want to say I love different recipes mm -hmm. that utilize the awesome flavors of cilantro. Oh, let's talk about that. We are using cilantro. Now, cilantro, I think, is one of those herbs that you either like it or you don't. Not everyone likes cilantro. Pretty strong um, spice, uh, herb, I should say but very good, don't you think? Love it. I wanna turn this up a little bit more. We want this a little hotter. Okay. Now, um, I hear that sizzle, it's great. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna add this on. Now this is such a super easy recipe. Very, very versatile. Use any vegetables you want. Um, if you don't have the thin chicken, you can use regular chicken breast. Definitely takes longer to cook. I love the thin slice. Uh, Purdue makes it. I got this today at the supermarket. Um, just a lot easier to cook with, and the time is just pretty much cut in half when you're using the, the thin chicken. So let's put this on. It already smells good, don't you guys think? Oh, unbelievable. Love it. All right, um, Zach, let's come over here. We have avocados, and I want you to talk to our audience a little about about the fats in the avocado. Right. A lot of people ask questions about avocados. Are these healthy? How much can I have? That sort of thing. Well, Melissa, you're absolutely right. People ask all the time. Yep. Absolutely amazing. Believe it or not, they actually fit 25 different essential nutrients in this little guy. How? I don't know, but it's all in there. <laughs> it's really good for your heart. It's great for lowering cholesterol levels. Uh, it's, it's, there's just so many awesome health benefits. There's, there's I believe over 15 different health benefits that go just with wow. this little guy of avocado, fiber, protein, it's amazing. No nope, kidding, that's great. Um, Mike, I'm gonna have you come over here yep. actually, because I need to start moving this stuff out. So we're gonna start to put our salads together. This is how quick this is. I'm gonna have you put the tomatoes just kind of right on top there. I've already mm -hmm. cut a few. And we're using um, just a regular, I believe these are beef steak tomatoes, any kind at all is fine. And we're using a red onion. That smell is just... Oh, the chicken smells phenomenal. Else. Now, if you don't want to use red onion, you certainly don't have to. I like it because of the color, and you guys know how I'm all about presentation. I talk about that all the time. You know, I noticed uh, over here, when you're marinating the chicken, you put the olive oil in the marinade a little bit, and, and mixed it that way. Correct. Um, that's awesome because at home, when I cook, uh, sometimes I'll put the olive oil in the pan and then it splashes and I burn myself. Exactly. That's a Good great point. little tip right there. Yeah. That I take home. <laughs> yeah. Learning something new every day. <laughs> um, just a little bit cleaner, exactly. You don't want it, uh, you know, splattering. Now I'm cutting the onion, as you can see. I want this relatively thin, and we're just kind of sprinkle the onions. Oh, good job, Mike. <laughs> Try my best. <laughs> now, this salad could probably easily feed, what, at least two to three people, don't you think? Absolutely. And this super simple could be a dinner. It could be a, a light dinner. It could be a lunch. You can make the chicken ahead of time. Chicken will stay for, I don't know, a couple of days in the fridge, or you can freeze it. That looks good enough. And one thing that I tell my clients all the time is proper preparation prevents poor performance. Oh, so I like that. So what you can do is on a Sunday, here's what I do. Here's my little secret. On a Sunday, I bake all my chicken. I go to BJ's. I can bring a ton home. Thanks. Purdue as well. I bake up my chicken. I put it in little plastic bins, and it lasts me throughout the entire week. Yeah. So when I'm it's on the rush, point. exactly. When I'm on the rush with a lot of things going on, I just pull it out of the fridge. It's ready to go. I have a nice, nutritious meal ready for me at all times.
This is looking beautiful. Love the nice lines in there. I'm gonna put that aside. Now, the avocado can be a little tricky. Now, these are tough right now to find in the supermarket that are ripe. Um, if you can find them. And these can be a little hard to cut. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Obviously, you wanna take the middle out there. Then we're just gonna kinda slice it like this. Kinda just take your finger and go right around the edge. Oh, love, love avocados. I really wish all of you at home could smell this right now. This is, you guys gotta make this one. This is unbelievable. It, yeah, it, it really is. I make chicken salad actually quite a bit and I'll bring it to work. And salad is just so versatile. I mean, what else could we use? Uh, what other ingredients could we use if we don't like avocados and, and so forth? Right. What other vegetables? Hundreds of options. Yeah, Anything in there. You know, open up your fridge. What do you got? You got mushrooms? Throw some mushrooms in yep. there, you know? Um, what, what kind of vegetables? Even peas, beans, all that kind of great stuff uh, really go well with this. You know, it, it's so versatile. It is. And, and mind you guys, any questions you have above and beyond what we're talking about, you know, we're really here to help you guys. You know, you can always uh, email Mike right there at purefit24 at gmail.com. Um, any kind of wellness evaluations or help just with what we're doing here, Mike's here to help you guys. And it's really my passion along with Zach to get you to the best shape of your life. You know, we've been in different situations. Zach explained his situation earlier. I told you I was overweight. So we know it's like to feel like you're out of shape and want to get to the best shape of your life. And here is a great blueprint to help you get back on track. Really just focusing on your nutrition. Again, 80% of the battle is nutrition. And now we have some awesome, awesome recipes for you to try. Now I'm curious, you guys have a ton of clients right now, um, or, or Mike, because of you know the new year and everyone seems to have the same resolutions. Oh yeah, now, absolutely. Now I'm curious how many people really stick to going into the gym and really sticking it out not just for the month of January and February? That's a great question. And if you're a member at any gym, you're gonna see a huge influx of the population. They're right. gonna take all the locker room. They <laughs> walk in, they're like, I'm about to lose 20 pounds today. <laughs> <laughs> and then they look around, okay, where do I go now? <laughs> and they last about one day because they don't have a plan. They don't have a blueprint. And as we talked about, right. you need to have a plan to be successful. Number one, set the goal. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Number two, come up with a plan, and number three, take massive action. And Zach and I and Melissa are here to help you get into the best shape of your life. So use us as resources and really take advantage of it, because we want to help you get there. Mike's right on with that. Teamwork truly does make the dream work. And, and so every successful person has some sort of a mentor, has some sort of a coach. You can't reinvent the wheel. It's already there, the, 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 the plan for success is there. And so, you know, find that inspiration uh, through Melissa with all the different recipes. So you're providing, you know, better food at home for your family, uh, right. through Mike, through myself, and through other people out there who can offer something awesome for you. Take advantage of that. Melissa has a great place on Facebook. Melissa's menu on Facebook. Like her page, read all her recipes, watch some of her past episodes, and you can find out more about Zach at nutritionguy.gmail.com. It's a great resource. I hope you take advantage of it, and I hope you learn a lot from this, too. Now, we're going to work on our dressing, and then we're done. I mean, this recipe, what, five, ten minutes? Seriously, it didn't take long at all. Um, we are making a lime vinaigrette, a lime cilantro vinaigrette, actually. So I know that you like cilantro. Talk to me more about that. I have, by the way, just about a quarter cup of chopped cilantro I'm adding right in here. Well, exactly. You know, a lot of my clients do ask me, hey, Zach, I never had a cooking class back in school. <laughs> what do I do for flavor? And they're so used to adding, you know, the basics like right. salt and butter, salt and butter. And so there's a lot of healthy herbs that can add tons of flavor, in fact, explosive of flavor, uh, to make it fun for you. And cilantro is one of my favorites. So all we have here is, like we said, the chopped cilantro. Um, I already have a few limes already juiced. Um, again, I talk about this a lot. If you want to get the juice out of the lime, excuse me, um, just roll it on your 
countertop like this or pop it in your microwave for about 10 or 20 seconds. That's an awesome Juices little are flowing, yeah. So we have just about uh, three tablespoons right here we're gonna add in. And then just some, again, extra virgin olive oil. I'm just gonna whisk this up. We're gonna dress our vegetables first with this. Our chicken already has a lot of flavor in it, so we don't need to really mess around with the chicken too much. And as you notice, no salt and pepper in this. Well, I should say salt really is the main, the main uh, ingredient that a lot of people would add to this, but no need for the salt at all. We have tons of flavor in that chicken. Wow. Okay. So like I said, we're just gonna dress our vegetables, cool. especially our avocado. You know, with that extra lime peel, myself personally, I always put it in my uh, disposal. Uh, mm -hmm. Not to let it go down the sink, but just to get that citrus smell. So it's your, your sink, your kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah. So much stuff goes into, it smells so fresh. When you put that zesty <laughs> lime in there. Uh, but don't forget to take it out, otherwise it can spoil food. He's not just a health coach. He's going to help make your house smell phenomenal, too. He's just loaded with wonderful information. These I'm guys go are brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All we're doing is just uh, cutting our chicken breast. Oh, it smells so good. Gosh, there's something so, so, so easy good. to make. Guys, take a look oh, at this. Come on. Five-star meal. Are you kidding me? Anybody can make. You guys can even make this. Billy Costa, where are you? <laughs> I we know. Need to come take a look Billy, at this. Billy, I want a job. <laughs> <laughs> so all we're doing is chopping this up. Again, there's going to be a lot of leftover chicken that I haven't even cooked yet. So what I'll do after this, pop it right back in the, uh, right back in the pan and use it for salads this week. So use it for really anything. It doesn't have to just be for salad. Oh, doesn't this look great? Oh, unbelievable. Now this folks is a very healthy recipe. Chicken, and <laughs> chicken avocado salad with cilantro, lime and vinaigrette. Okay. All right, so we are up to our last recipe, which is this amazing berry tea smoothie. Very interesting, right, about yes. the tea? We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, we're starting off with one banana into our blender, a half cup of pomegranate juice, a lot of flavor in the pomegranate juice. Yeah, I'm, I've never tried pomegranate, but I've heard it's good. Now we have three quarters of a cup we're using. You can use soy or no fat or low fat, or I actually have Greek yogurt. Very trendy right now. A lot of people are doing the Greek, it, especially if you're health conscious, going to the gym, a lot of benefits. Yeah. Now um, this is actually low fat plain, 2%. So that's healthy, right? Very healthy. <laughs> the low fat, but it's also loaded with protein. So it's a great source of protein to have, like Zach said, before you go to the gym. It really is. It's one of those, um, I'm just thinking about what you just said, Zach, about it's kind of a trendy yogurt these days. Greek yogurt, everyone's talking about it. You can put that stuff in anything. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And it yeah. tastes good. It fills you up, too. Now we're using a cup and a half of frozen berries. Folks, you can use any kind of berry you want, correct? Absolutely. Um, we're using a blend of cherries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. So this looks fabulous. And then let's talk about our last ingredient. We're using brewed tea. This you guys want to expand on that? Any type of tea. This is the special type of tea that we're using here. And if you're familiar with tea, this type of tea is loaded with antioxidants. And what they're discovering about tea recently is they've done studies is that there is 10 times as much antioxidants in tea as there is in vegetables. So if you go to your Starbucks, you're gonna see that they're really promoting the tea because it's very beneficial for you. Now this tea, as I said earlier, is a lot different because every cup that you're having, you're burning 80 calories. What? It's you're active. burning calories while you're drinking the tea? Amazing. But, but it's not any normal tea, Mike. Not any normal tea. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is acting. What it's doing is it's acting as a thermogenic inside your body. So it's raising your core temperature, and that's going to start the burning process. And not only that, but it's going to give you a ton of energy. Well, and I just want to say, so for this tea personally, I do it every morning. Um, but if I want to get this stuff, it's, it is tough to find, right? So that's bet. What, 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 Good what question. Good question. You keep talking about this tea. So 
that is a good question. Where do folks find something like this? So this T, uh, Zach is a health coach, I'm a health coach. We can help guide you in the right direction. You can go to nutritionguy at gmail.com or purefit24 at gmail.com and we can work on your goals and see if this tea will be a good fit for you. My guess is it will be because it's out of this world. I can't wait to try it. love the flavors. It. it comes in four different flavors, lemon, raspberry, peach, and original. We have it covered. We got you. They've been talking about this tea all night, so uh, you guys, I got to check this out. All right, we ready? It's mixing. It's happening. <laughs> it's coming. The anticipation. Right. Look at it, lovely. Oh wow, that smells good. It's mm -hmm. dripping. Oh, it's dripping. <laughs> <laughs> A All lot right. of people's blenders so. leak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's quickly pour this because it is. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this. Salute. Thank you, Melissa, for a wonderful opportunity tonight. Oh, my goodness. That is Ooh, awesome. That's good. Wow. Oh, man. Talk <laughs> about a shot of energy. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is good Zach, stuff. would you like to try this? Oh, please. It's out of this world. Mm. Oh, that will I'm add an extra kick smile. to your step. Oh, that's incredible. Tons of flavor. So I'm feeling a lot of healthy ingredients in there, yet it's explosive on the palate <laughs> and the it energy. Is. It's really good. It's hitting Ooh. me. I'm feeling really good. Tangy, I like it. We have time for one more. Let's see. Chris in Plymouth is asking, oh, why are you putting tea into the shake? Chris, that's a good question. <laughs> and here's why. Let me explain it to you. So as a personal trainer and a health coach, a lot of people come up to me especially this time of year, Mike, I want to get into the best shape of my life. Teach me how. I don't want to gain too much weight. I don't want to lose too much weight. I want to look nice and lean, like Melissa and Zach will look that lean body mass that Zach was talking about. <laughs> that is very challenging to attain. So it's very easy to put on weight, as we all know. It's very easy to lose weight. So, but the most challenging part is to develop that nice lean muscle. So by having a protein shake and having uh, the, the tea in there at the same time, you're not only adding protein, but you're burning calories at the same time. So you're adding the lean mass and burning the extra calories. So that's the tough balance that you're trying to achieve all within one drink. That's an excellent source of protein wow. and to burn the calories with. I actually have a quick question on my own, um, kind of off subject, but when is the best time to weigh yourself? Uh, that's a great that question. Is a good question. I'm very curious yep. because I'm starting to eat healthier this year and exercise some more, and my weight is so different from the morning when I get up yeah. and then the evening. It's it's much heavier in the evening. So, when like what is the most accurate? Um, and time? and also, guys, don't fear the scale all the time, right? I mean, a lot of us have that fear for the scale. Well, it's not a true reflection of what's really going on in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so first off, that's why it's good to work with the coach. Mike, why don't you talk about, about the times? Yeah, and that's Melissa, that's a great question. A lot of people mm -hmm. ask me the same thing. So your weight can actually fluctuate four to six pounds throughout the day. Wow. So a lot of that is water weight. So if you step on the scale in the morning, okay. you're 100 pounds, and at night you're 105. You're like, I didn't even eat that much. Okay. What happened? Okay. But here's the thing. The best time to weigh yourself is first thing in the morning, because that's when you'll actually be at your lightest. Okay. Now, if you don't want to weigh yourself in the morning, just make sure you keep it consistent whatever you do. So maybe it's every Saturday afternoon. That way you have a constant and you can have that constant variable to help figure out whether you're making progress or not. And yeah, just another little tip. There's no need to weigh yourself every single day. I was that just gonna mention you're, that. You're, you're, that's gonna set the tone for your whole day. If you get on that scale and if you haven't done your business yet, right, you're gonna be a Krabby Patty all day long <laughs> because of that number on that scale. Yep. So give yourself time. Give your body time to, to treat you well and to work for yourself and, and, and to get you the results that you've earned. And guys, the most important thing is, like Zach said, don't become so concentrated with the number on the scale because that's not a true testament to what's actually happening inside your body. If you're having the right amount of protein and you're working out 80% nutrition, 
20 percent exercise you're going to add lean muscle and what happens is that muscle weighs more than fat so when you step on the scale it might stay the same but what you'll notice is the clothes on your body are fitting better right. people and friends that you haven't seen in months are saying wow what are you doing you look great or what the best indicator is is pictures when i look at pictures of myself from 2010 i was 250 pounds I want to throw those pictures away. Those are embarrassing. Wow. So you're going to build up those references. That's the best way to tell because it's all about the body fat percentage. Good information. I really wish we could like tape all night. We have so many questions that we'll have to ask um, off camera because we've run out of time tonight. I want to thank you guys so much for coming on the show tonight. What's the best way that our fans can reach you? Zach and uh, actually both of you. Yeah, so uh, we are a team. Teamwork does make the dream work. I just want to thank all of you guys. Uh, for giving us your time because I do believe time is our most valuable asset. I want to thank Melissa too uh, for having us come on the show. I even learned a lot at a great time. And so if you guys want to get a hold of us, uh, you can go to purefit24 at gmail.com. Again, it's purefit24 at gmail.com. Uh, we're here to help. If you guys want a free wellness evaluation to meet with us, no problem, okay? Um, the, the free fit camps that we offer, whatever the deal is, just, let's just make it fun. Let's make 2014 a year for us, okay, for you, for good health. And uh, Mike is a great coach here in the area, too. And guys, information changes situations. So everything that you took here, the most important thing that you can do is apply it to your life now. So if we really want to make a difference, it's time to take some action. You can contact Melissa, you can contact myself, or you can contact Jack. Whatever is easier for you, let's help you get into the best shape of your life. Great information. Um, Again, if you want to reach me, if you have any questions or comments or if you want to know the recipes or how to reach the guys, if you didn't catch that part or anything like that, you can always reach me at melissasmenu at gmail.com. Facebook as well. Make sure you like my page, Melissa's Menu. That's all the time we have tonight. Thanks for joining us. Special thanks to Mike Mata, the California plumber, A.L. Pedrozani & Sons painting contractors, and Emerald Landscape Supply over in Carver. Make sure you check out their new location for underwriting Melissa's menu. Thanks everyone, have a good night. Good job. Awesome.